Hello dear friends! So as you can see I am in my little workshop. Here's the furnace. So it's time again for Let It Burn. And today's video is upon request coming from Domenico Lamberti from Twitter. He asked me if I could burn out polycast from Polymaker. So I printed the tile, you know this typical tile that I'm always using. And what I like, really like about this filament is that they have a, a documentation that you can download which shows you uh, how to, to work with it. They also give you some information of uh, how it is casted. Uh, you can clearly see that uh, the PLAs are normally used for industrial casting. So you can go, go to the website. I will put a link under the video and you can download it and take a look at it yourself because it just differs quite a lot from the way I normally cast. So here they only make like a shell of investment material and then they cast into it. And um, so, yeah, this is really worth reading. Lots of background information. This is the only company I've found so far that has such a, such a good documentation. I bought it from Filament World. They don't even know that I'm creating this video. Uh, you can buy samples, so you don't have to buy a full roll. Maybe you're not quite sure if you like the material, so before buying an entire roll of it, you can just buy a sample. I, I printed this sample spool that I already used for the, for the Technicoa filament. I, I like these a lot because they have a bigger diameter and I don't remember how much I bought there. And uh, yeah, I will leave a link underneath. So this company is situated in Germany and um, yeah. Of course, you pay a little bit more for the material per gram, but uh, before you have a full roll lying around that you never will need again, uh, it makes sense to give it a try like that first. Great, so I have a little stand here. So this is what it's going to work like today because I always had a hard time pulling out the, the platen foil in the past because um, when it goes up to thousand degrees the platinum foil gets quite soft already and this will help me pulling it to the front that you can see a little bit better. So in the surface, I don't know if you can see it in the, in the, in the screen, and there's a little bit of oxidation left here from the last one but this foil is absolutely clean. So I hope you believe me and um, let's see what it looks like when it burns out. I guess it will not differ a lot from the other two. And, you know, normally when you burn out in the furnace, you always let it soak at two temperatures and then you go to the end temperature for the normal burnout procedure. And um, I'm going in 50 degrees segments directly up to 1000 degrees and I shut the furnace off and then I let it cool down with the door closed. So tomorrow morning I will take a look in there and I will record again and you will see that there will be almost nothing left. So I, I really think that if you soak it longer, then these little crystalline structures that you have seen in the last two videos, they will totally disappear. I have, um, I have planned to invest really uh, some small little objects and then really uh, cast something. Yeah, I, I to prove to you that it will work. But let me first finish these these tests here. And uh, after this one, I will jump directly into the tests of the resins. Yeah, because I think after the third video, uh, if it if it always burns out in the same way, uh, I think I have pr proven that this will work. So let's jump into there, and I hope it's not too boring. I hope you like it. Yeah, it's a very very specific. Um, procedure and uh, maybe not for the broad uh, audience but those people that are into casting and stuff or want to give it a try they might be interested. Okay, see you later. I'm starting at 20 degrees and I will keep you informed. Every 50 degrees I will open up the furnace. Here we go. 
250 degrees, as you know, there's nothing you can see. So 100 degrees is the next one. Okay, 100 degrees. And now it's bending up, but nothing more to see. 150. Oh, this is bending up quite a bit. As you can see here, that's interesting. <laughs> 200 degrees, a little bit past. It's foaming quite a bit, as you can see. Yeah, it's like like chewing gum. The caramel is very soft. Okay, so that wouldn't uh, mean that that would mean that it wouldn't harm the investment material. 250. I've turned on the catalyst, as you can uh, hear, because it started smelling. And it smells different than the other ones and it starts to melt now and in the back it gets a little bit brownish like caramel almost 300 i will turn the other section on too once i've looked inside here oh take a look now it, it looks like a like a burnt cheese <laughs> oh this sinks a lot what you hear now in the background is the suction and we are going to open up now at 350 and oh as you can see this is the reason uh, it is mounted in the back and the front it's still yummy yummy gummy gummy okay almost 400 oh did you hear that so let's take a look what it is Ooh, that is toasty. I don't see anything. Okay, almost 450. Okay, let's take a look inside. Wow, that's black. Really, really black. Okay, here we go. Still black, totally black in there. Let's see how long it takes to clear up in this one. 550. I guess it's still black. Yeah. Yeah, the tips are getting a little bit white as you can see, so I guess it's clearing up now. 600. Yeah, as you can see in the front, it is already clearing up. See here. And I switched off already the Exonosh exception 650. Oh, that was a quick one. Ooh. That has, does, hasn't happened uh, with the other ones that I've tested before, the two ones. So that is really a, a very quick cleanup. I will move the camera now closer. I've changed the position. I will pull the platen fall to the front. Okay, let's open up the furnace and let's take a look. There is a little bit of white left. I have a feeling that we could get this burned out at a lower temperature than the other two. 750. Okay, let's take a look. Let's see it starts flowing. Oh, still looks kind of the same. Maybe a few particles less than before. 800. 
Oh, it's uh, almost nothing left. You know this brown crust there uh, is just seems to be like an oxidation. The ash is what we're looking for. But I will wait. Let's see if this brown stuff also disappears. But this would not have an influence on the casting, I guess. 850. Okay, let's take a look. Starting to glow up more. Yeah, the, the particles are gone. The brown is still a little bit there. Wow, oh, this is getting hot now. Oh, next one, 900. For the next round, I will put on these gloves. I bought them last year, almost forgot about them. I've love up to 250 degrees, but I, you know, <laughs> I'll rather burn my glove than my hand. Let's see if it works. Okay, 900. Whoa. Now that's comfortable. Ah, as you see, the brown is almost gone. It looks worse on the camera than in real life. Uh, I guess I will call that successful and I guess I don't have to go higher. I will stop now. This was quite a quick one. As you have seen it cleared up at around 850 and 900. There were no uh, crystals left like with the other two. Uh, what I'm a little bit scared of is that it blows up. And then I heard a kind of poof inside the furnace. I would have to invest something to see if it harms my investment material. Yeah, so I like the burnout behavior a lot, but um, the, the way it burns out. Maybe I have to, to, um, to ramp it up in a different way. Maybe because now I went up around 10 degrees per minute. Uh, so maybe if I drop it to five degrees per minute and I make a like a break to to soak it around 250 to 280 degrees, maybe that would help preventing it from puffing that way. Yeah, but if that works, this is perfect. Burns out really really quickly. It doesn't stink so long, but when it stinks, it stinks a lot. <laughs> And uh, from what I remember, it stinks more than the other two, but it doesn't stink for such a long time. So I was able to shut off the external suction very quickly. You know, every time I use it, I have to run it through the door, to, to the to, through the window here, and I have to keep it open. And um, yeah, at the moment, what you hear now is the catalyst. So that already takes care of a little bit of it. But uh, when it gets too strong, I have to use the other suction on top. And uh, yeah, the, the next one will be resin. I, I will have to check. I don't know which one I should choose first. Maybe I'll let you choose. I will put the, the resins under this video and then you can choose. And then that one I will burn out next. Okay. Hope you liked it. Bye-bye. I forgot uh, I switched off the furnace now and I will just let it cool down like I did with the other two but uh, as you remember I only had this as at 900 no, not at 1000 and let's see uh, what it looks like tomorrow but as it was already cleaned up maybe the little brown thing there in the middle that you still have seen like a shadow maybe that will disappear but there were no grains left Hello, so this is next day. I will sh open up the furnace and let's take a look inside what it looks like now as it is cooled down. There we go. So, here it is. Okay. Go a little bit closer. Here it is kind of mud and once in a while you see a little dot but it's it's almost gone. Yeah and this here this is like a how would you say 
like an oxidation but it's absolutely s smooth so what the roughness I feel is from the fall itself from the wrinkles yeah I, I will I will try to cast uh, using this material this seems promising I don't like how it stinks when it burns out and I will also have to check if the if the the way it burns out, you know, because it kind of puffs if it damages the in investment material. But the burnout behavior really seems to be great. So I hope you liked this one. It was kind of different. And uh, yeah, the next one will be a resin. Looking forward to seeing how those burn out. So stay tuned. Bye bye.